For thousands of years, sugar in the form of fruit or honey has been a key part of the diet of many societies. One source of refined sugar, sugar cane, was domesticated in New Guinea around 8,000 years ago. Native peoples were observed chewing the stalks for food and for the sweet taste. Sugar cane was cultivated and traded by humans throughout Asia. More recently, refined sugar was adopted into the diet of many cultures. When early Spanish settlers arrived, they found that Mexican Indians extracted a sweet substance from cornstalk and California Native Americans made molasses and other sweet products, possibly from the abundance of wild beets that grew in California. Louisiana was the first place in the United States of America to refine sugar on a commercial scale. During the 20th century, refined sugar production increased and prices fell. Today in the United States of America, most refined sugar is derived from sugar cane and beets. In black communities, whole foods such as honey and fruits have been replaced by more processed foods containing refined sugar in the diet. Unfortunately, increased consumption of refined sugar is associated with one of the world's most common diseases, diabetes. Diabetes is prevalent in almost every section of society. By 2018, 10.5% of the population of the U.S. was diabetic. Within this group, however, blacks and other people of color are disproportionately affected. According to the American Diabetes Association, 11.7% of non-Hispanic Blacks have diabetes, compared to 7.5% of non-Hispanic Whites. Diabetes can affect almost every part of the body. While some signs of onset, such as excessive hunger and thirst, are well known, others are more obscure. Often, people can experience health issues that are not immediately linked to diabetes. For example, the eye condition glaucoma, in which a buildup of fluid damages the optic nerve, can be a result of diabetes. At the other end of the body, untreated diabetes can lead to foot ulcers and sores. This is because diabetes can cause nerve damage, leading to a loss of feeling in the feet, as well as poor circulation. People who walk around barefooted might not feel when their skin is punctured. Other serious complications caused by diabetes can include stroke, heart disease, nerve damage, cataracts, kidney disease, and tooth decay. Nurses who specialize in diabetes report that their patients harbor many misconceptions about the condition. I had a healthy breakfast, only some grits with milk and a little sugar. Remember, grits is a carbohydrate, which also becomes sugar in your body. Try to eat more lean meat and some vegetables. You should aim for only around this much starch. But I can have as much fruit as I want, right? Actually, fruit has a lot of sugar. As a diabetic, you shouldn't have too much. Is it worth making so many changes to my diet? Maybe I'd rather be happy. You are lucky you haven't had any real serious health problems yet. But if you want that to continue, it's important to make these changes. To help avoid the additional health risks linked to diabetes, there are a number of things people can do. Even small changes can be beneficial. Dietary changes, like limiting the amount of starchy food, choosing lean meats rather than a processed version, and including vegetables in every meal can all help. Lifestyle adjustments, such as making more time for exercise, are also important. By throwing light on the specific challenges that arise in tackling diabetes and communities, we can aim to halt the spread of this serious health problem.